this is Mato. In this video, we'll show you the game between the Mikhail Tal and Pateris Campanus. This game was played in Soviet Union in 1958. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Pateris Campanus played d6, d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, g6, Pirt's defense, white to move. Tal played bishop to e2, f4, knight to f3, and bishop to e3 are three most played moves in this position. Tal played bishop to e2, knight from b to d7, f4, c6, white to move. Perhaps knight to f3 comes to mind. Tal played e5, attacking the knight, forcing the defender of the black king to go to a less favorable square. Knight to d5. If d takes on e5, d takes on e5, and black knight must go back to g8. So we have knight to d5. White to move. Perhaps knight takes, knight comes to mind. Tal played knight to e4. If knight takes on d5, c takes on d5, and now if e takes on d6, black can play e6. So we have knight to e4, bishop to g7, c4, attacking black knight again, knight from 5 to b6. White to move. How would you continue? Perhaps one idea is b3, another is knight to f3, and if black would cast the king's side, then white can cast the king's side. White king is safe, and white has some space advantage. Tal had a different idea. He played h4, very sharp, but it can backfire. Black to move. Petteris castled king's side. Perhaps better was d5, and after c takes on d5, knight takes on d5. In the game we have castling king's side. h5, c5. Another way to go was d5. Perhaps even better. We have c5. So black wants to open up the game and catch white king before castling. h takes on g6, h takes on g6, queen to d3, one idea is queen to h3 and then queen to h7, check mate. That is why Pateris played rook to e8, white to move, what would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? This is the key move. A pawn sacrifice. Pawn takes pawn. And the pawn on g6 lost his defender. Queen to g3, threatening queen takes on g6. Knight to f8 defending. white to move. How would you continue? Developing the bishop, pawn takes pawn, developing the knight. Tal played bishop to h5, sacrificing the bishop. He intended to sacrifice the bishop. Petteris played c takes on d4. If g takes on h5, rook takes on h5, intending rook to g5, rook takes bishop. And if knight to h7, then f5, and after pawn takes pawn, bishop to h6, and then queen takes on g7, check mate. So we have c takes on d4, bishop takes on g6, bishop to d7, 
Perhaps some players would capture the rook on e8. This is not what Tal played. He played rook to h5, intending rook to g5. Peteris played bishop to c6, attacking the knight. Rook to g5. Knight takes bishop. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes on e4. Rook takes bishop check. Black to move. King to h8. If king goes to f8, then rook to g8 check. And after king to f7, queen to g7 check. Mate. So in the game we have king to h8. White play the move when black resigned. The move is queen to g5. Black resigned. Possible continuation is bishop to h7, then queen to h6, some arendo move, and then queen takes bishop. Check mate. Very interesting game. The game is finished. Tal never used three of his pieces. So this is not an example of a good opening, is it? But this is an example of the desire to attack opponent's king. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.